At Epsom, the 164th Derby Stakes. Half a million racegoers packed the downs for Britain's number one classic, the first ever to be held on a Saturday. The day started with clouded skies and rain, but at one o'clock the sun broke through. The King with Lord Rosebery, the Queen, Princess Elizabeth and the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester joined the crowd in the paddock for a last minute check-up on the 15 starters. <laughs> Here, number eight, with Gordon Richards up, is 2,000 guineas winner Tudor Minstrel, four to seven on favourite. In the centre of the course, top three yellows from Britain, France and Ireland limber up. The royal family watched the parade from the rails, the first time this has occurred in Derby history. Early season fanciers had hoped for a royal victory, but the King's Horse Blue Train was withdrawn. That was one up to the bookies, who were now scared stiff that heavily backed Tudor Minstrel would turn out a winner. And now the horses line up for the start. It's a moment full of suspense. They're ready, and they're off. Off on a one and a half mile test. The Derby Roar greets the horses as they race uphill for the milepost. From our cameraman on a 120 foot tower in the center of the course comes this round the course picture. The settling down, it's Blue Coral and Tight Street up in front. Tudor Minstrel is on the outside. The first four are Bismar, Blue Coral, Tight Street and Tudor Minstrel. The field is packed and it's still anybody's race. And now the mile post. And here we spot the winner, Pearl Diver, the French horse with the white nose band, coming up from nowhere over on the outside. Gordon Richards on Tudor Minstrel still leads, but Pearl Diver, the dark horse from France, makes a winning challenge. Spreading out now, Tudor Minstrel still has a chance, but Pearl Diver is making all the going. The bookies are looking anxious. It'll be one up to the public if Tudor Minstrel does come in first. To champion jockey Gordon Richards, it'll be his first derby win at his 22nd attempt. And now they're coming up to the bend and a short distance to Tattenham Corner. On the bend, and this is where only the best can take it. Here it's stamina that wins. It's Sayer Girao, Pearl Diver second, and Tudor Minstrel falling back a bad third. And here's a long lens shot of the straight. Downhill on the last lung bursting mile, Pearl Diver is out in front with jockey George Bridgeland up. A 40 to 1 outsider, it makes the last two furlongs look easy. Only a few yards to go, and Pearl Diver isn't challenged. The Aga Khan's Migoli is second, and Sayer Girao third. Yes, Pearl Diver passes the post four lengths in front. A French horse, beaten in its two previous races, it walks away with the year's biggest race. The bookies are all smiles now. They've won five million pounds. To Jockey Bridgeland goes racing's most coveted prize. And Gordon Richards still hasn't won his first derby.